Hello everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about the solar eclipse in Cancer and this is happening on July 12th at 20 degrees of Cancer in 41 minutes and this is happening at 1048 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and it'll happen at about 748 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. And so eclipse season is here. Eclipse season began with the last full moon at the end of June, which is also when Mars went retrograde. So the Mars retrograde is intimately tied into this eclipse season. So even bigger than however many planets are retrograde this month, the biggest thing right now is that Mars retrograde is happening in tandem with eclipse season. Take a look around you because a lot of things may look different in your life by the time Mars goes direct. Mars is stationed direct, uh, retrograde on the south node. The south node is like a vortex. It takes things away. It's a flushing valve. It's a release of all the things that are no longer serving our uh, highest good or exciting us because Mars is about our passions what excites us and if we're not doing our passion then we're getting frustrated and angry and that's another Mars word so Mars station retrograde on the south node and the south and north nodes are what bring us eclipses the nodes are actually uh, areas in in space where the path of the sun meets the path of the moon so when we have a new or a full moon on the nodes we get eclipses and eclipses tend to be faded periods in our lives that remove things from our lives and also align us with things that are part of our purpose so this is a very very potent time if you're getting invitations or if you're from people you really want to consider what those invitations are and if it's in alignment with your heart and your truth you want to take it and then also any situation that you that you're feeling like it's frustrating it, it's angering you it's not allowing you to fully move forward these are things that you want to consider changing or letting go so this solar eclipse is going to pack a punch. This solar eclipse, it's a partial solar eclipse, so it's not like like the total one that we had last summer in August that really like shot awakened everyone and had everyone paying attention. This one's a little smaller, but just because it's small doesn't mean that it can't have a huge impact because this solar eclipse is opposite Pluto. And Pluto's that little guy who was discovered around the time of the atomic bomb. So it, it's a little, little thing with huge seismic waves coming out of it. So this is a pretty exact opposition. So where is the bomb going to go off in your world or in the world? I mean, God forbid, but these things happen. But are you gonna drop the bomb on somebody or is someone gonna drop the bomb on you? Are, what is going to be totally transformed so that it can be reborn out of the ashes of destruction? Big changes can happen in our lives, especially if this eclipse is talking to your chart. This is a period where we can majorly walk away from things and rebuild anew. And even though there's some negative connotation with Pluto and the word bomb, it's largely about transformation. It's largely about evolution. So this can be very, very positive change. The other interesting thing happening in this eclipse chart is Jupiter has stationed just two days prior and it's stationed in Scorpio. And Jupiter in Scorpio has um, given voice to the Me Too movement where people have been coming out. Scorpio is about bringing things to light as well as Pluto. So we have these very similar themes playing into this solar eclipse chart. So we may see a whole other wave of people coming forward to speak up and um, heal. Uh, Pluto and Scorpio are about healing and healing in the collective. And with this uh, new moon in Cancer, it's about nurturing, it's about healing, but it's also the sign of children. So unfortunately, as I said, Eclipse season begins with the full moon prior. On this previous full moon, 
We have, and quote from a headline, head of charity to prevent child abuse arrested for soliciting child pornography and sex with minors. So I definitely see another wave of Me Too's coming forward and hopefully we can finally, we're finally ready to hear the voices of the younger people who have endured this, this horrid kind of abuse and we know it's happening, just it's hard to talk about and so people keep sweeping it under the rug when people try to speak up and for these people it really takes so much courage to speak their truth. So maybe by now we're ready to hear it. The other interesting thing going on in this new moon chart, which is also the solar eclipse, um, it's the same thing, it's just like a more faded, more powerful new moon, is we have a grand trine in Earth. So while we're releasing, while we're creating destruction in our path and we're not really sure what we're gonna make of it and we're not sure that everything's gonna turn out okay, but behind it is this desire to ground. Grand Earth Trine. It's all about grounding and manifesting and doing the work and building. And this involves Saturn in Capricorn, Uranus in Taurus, and Venus in Virgo. So these are, um, we have the two money planets and two planets uh, involving growth and radical growth. So whatever you're destroying, whatever bombs are going off in your life, know that it's about pulling the resources and getting creative so that we can bring in more of our potential.